So some very interesting new developments from former CIA director John Brennan. Now look, he's a liar uh, whenever it comes to Russiagate, so take this with a grain of salt. But he was interviewed recently by a guy named Tyler Cowen, really interesting intellectual. Um, and this is what he had to say whenever he, Tyler asked John Brennan about the possible existence of UFOs. Quote, but I think some of the phenomena we're going to be seeing continues to be unexplained and might, in fact, be some type of phenomenon that is the result of something that we don't yet understand and that could involve some type of activity that some might say constitutes a different form of life. And as they point out, it's now not just, you know, John Brennan. And Harry Reid, the Christopher Mellon, the former Assistant Secretary of Defense, yeah. um, has come out very publicly saying that there's a ton more evidence behind the scenes. So, look, like I said, I have to balance this with we saw John Brennan lie about Russiagate, but I don't see a lot of incentive here in order to lie right. about this. In fact, the way I read the statement, Crystal, is being like some might say it constitutes a different form of life. So, like, hinting towards it without confirming it, being just mealy-mouthed enough where it's not going to break any big news. And the media hates the UFO story anyway. They don't think take any of it very seriously despite everything that is out there. So just the latest in a long string of recent developments now. Yeah, well, and all, what all those people have in common that you just named mm -hmm. is all of them have had at times access to highly classified yes, most information. Classified, right. And at, le at the very least, they're certainly not ruling it out based on what they've seen. And in fact, I mean, Harry Reid obviously has been one of the biggest proponents yeah. of doing more investigation and finding what's going on. You know, President Trump, you got a few more uh, weeks here in office. He's not going to do it. He's I know not he's not. not I wish he was going to do it, but he's. I just have no faith anymore. I've talked to some people around just being like, hey, you know, like, is there a way I can help facilitate this and all that? And they're like, yeah, it's just, you know, so far down on, the, uh, thing. on the priority. You know, I mean, it feels Tucker like it did a segment. Thing, right? Tucker did a segment on UFOs, and I thought, you know, that's probably his, that's basically a direct line to Trump, right? And so I was like, well, maybe that will push something in the right direction. But the problem is, is that even the president, and again, you should go listen to John Podesta talk about this. Mm. He, he, John Podesta was a big UFO guy. He was former White House chief of staff. He was like, look, I tried to get information. They won't give it to me. He's like, I tried, even with the full force of the White House and the presidency behind him. Bill Clinton has even said publicly. Publicly, he's like, I'm embarrassed to say, like, I even I tried to find out and I didn't really find anything. Huh. And so that's where we are kind of are right now. Things are so compartmentalized, keep, you know, the nuclear secrets and like all that other stuff that they're just little drips of information sitting in the government. And a guy like John Brennan, I actually think would know um, or at least would have access to some of those, you know, little tidbits. So. That's where if, we are right if now. anyone was going to have any sort of access to that information, it would be someone in the position of power that he was. It's got to be somebody with access to like the raw intel, like before they bundle it all up and then send it up to the president, or you know, cover it up, or you know, bury it in the bureaucracy, that type of thing. And reminder: there is a, apparently a photo, triangle UFO, perfectly clear, crystal clear photo taken by a fighter pilot, but with his iPhone camera, sitting inside the intelligence community right now just waiting to be leaked to an enterprising journalist. So if you're out there, you work in the DOD, leak it to me. I will protect you right now. <laughs> Promise. All right. We'll have more rising for you after this.